Along Israel's border with Syria, several demonstrators have been reported killed and dozens wounded. In the deadliest Nakba confrontations in years, Israel says it will keep clampdowns in place along its borders until midnight tonight. This came after clashes between its troops and Arab protesters marking the founding of Israel in 1948, which the Palestinians call Nakba, or catastrophe. There were also deadly clashes along the borders with Lebanon and the Gaza Strip. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said that in spite of all the difficulties, Palestinians were increasingly confident that they will be able to establish their own independent state. In Cairo, protesters clashed with Egyptian security forces deployed around the Israeli embassy, a security official said. Tear gas was used and, eyewitnesses said, three of the demonstrators were killed by gunfire and others were wounded. Ten people were killed on Sunday when they marched from inside Lebanon and tried to break through the fence into Israel and its troops opened fire. Israel's leaders have called for calm but vowed to defend its borders.